This is the 40th night of Minnesota's stay at home order. That action by the governor is just one of many issues ending up in Pat Kessler's inbox, including questionable claims. That's what we asked him to look into this week in Reality Check. Some of you wonder why we haven't reported COVID-19 was man-made in a China lab. It's because intelligence reports say it's not true. It's a wild virus that jumped from bat to human. But there is evidence China hid the pandemic, lied about its spread, and secretly stockpiled supplies. Do it the right way. Many of you question the governor's claim that 82% of Minnesota businesses are open when the state is shut down. In fact, it's 82% of workers on the job, not businesses open. And the unemployment picture is brutal. 600,000 Minnesotans have applied for unemployment. An astonishing 20% of the workforce that's almost 25% Great Depression levels. A lot of you believe Minnesota's stay-at-home order is illegal, calling Governor Waltz king and commie and tyrant. Stay-at-home is legal. Minnesota law allows a governor to declare a peacetime emergency, close businesses, and restrict movement. Each executive order must be ratified by an executive council of the state's constitutional officers. And the Minnesota legislature can overrule the governor. Among the most frequent claims you are sending us, and thank you for that, is this one. That the crisis is overblown because the number of cases and deaths are lower than predicted. Scientists call it a preparedness paradox, taking actions that seem like overreactions to slow the spread of the virus. And the more successful it is at preventing deaths, the more critics say stay at home wasn't worth it. That's reality check. Today, Minnesota Department of Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm says that she expects to get new model data by the end of the week. The state plans to update the media shortly after.